this win, but uh, um, we played well. We put up the points we wanted to put up, and uh, you know, we played good. Did you play as well as you hoped? I mean, did you play as well as you felt like you needed to play? Uh, offensively, I don't think we did. Uh, I think uh, there definitely should have been some more points out there we should have put up. Uh, uh, still too many wasted plays. Uh, still some things that, uh, you know, we shouldn't be getting in third and longs. Uh, third and eights, whatever it is, to uh, uh, with the offense we have against their defense. Um, no disrespect to them, but it, we wanted to come out. We wanted to play hard, aggressive, and uh, some drives we just uh, got behind ourselves. Are you guys in a, in a kind of a bottom line situation now? After the way it's gone, you just need to get a win. Yeah, we really did. Um, I mean, that's, that's the best way we can put it. You know, we really need one to go into these last two. Uh, still got two tough games left in the SEC, but uh, I'm just glad we can win. Joker said that there was a time he looked at the scoreboard tie game, and he's thinking. Oh no, Appalachian State kind of deal. You know what I mean? We got to make sure. I mean, did that ever cross your mind? And, and what goes through your mind in that situation? I was just frustrated that offensively we, we weren't, you know, sustaining drives like we should have. We weren't putting up points or threatening to put up points uh, every drive. I, I was just frustrated with that. Um, I knew we had a good uh, game plan. I knew we had a good scheme going on, but uh, um, you know, just some just things here and there just just get you frustrated. But uh, obviously that just has to show on the sideline when we got there. We got to still fight hard and still to try to score points, but. Um, that was kind of frustrating at first, but uh, you know, once we started uh, putting those two touchdowns up before halftime and the quick one right there in the third quarter, it uh, started making you feel good. What does it mean like to go over 5,000 have your name down? Uh, it feels good. I mean, uh been here for so long. Hopefully he put up that many yards. Uh, you know, it was, something's got to give, but that's that's nice to be part of that club, and it's good to um, be able to be recognized like that. What about where you guys are in the season so far, you know, 500 right now? Kind of talk about where you – if you're happy with where you are this year, and just kind of talk about it. Um, I think, I mean, it's 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 hard to say. We are where we are. We got to take it take it in stride. Take it every every day. Just just what we have to work with. Uh, um, you probably ask anybody on our team. We weren't expecting to be this way uh, this late in the season. Um, they would probably expect more wins, but um, you know we, we we can't worry about that. We can't be. Having the what ifs, thinking about you know if we won this game, where would we be? We got we got to control what we can control and uh, just do our best uh, this upcoming week. Mike, did you all get what you wanted out of this game? I mean, you know what I mean. It, it's a win, but is there enough good vibes coming out of it to, to move forward in those last two critical games? I think there's enough. Obviously, you want more out of it. You know, you don't want to go and just think you're just because you're playing this type of team that you're gonna. You know, just run all over them and do everything you need. To do. Obviously, you got to take care of the fundamentals. You got to, you got to play hard. You got to execute. And uh, there, there was a span there in the game where we didn't. Where we were slowed up, and uh, um, we didn't, we didn't expect that, and we didn't want that. So, uh, in that lie, then yeah, we, we should have. Uh, there are some things we needed to improve on. The, the game could have went in ways we wanted it uh, to go that it didn't. But. Uh, um, you know, as long as you keep picking it up, as long as you keep playing, you know, you know there's plenty of time left in the game to uh, get positive out of it. Is, there, is that a positive in that you can still say that there's a fine line between you know, playing really good football and also if you're not on every possession ready to go like you're talking about, then you know, you'll, even if it's not a team that you feel like should beat you, you know, they can play with you. Right, because um, it's, been, it's been shown many times over this year of college football, you know, teams being underrated coming into games or underdogs winning, especially teams uh, at, at the lower level playing big time SEC schools, other conferences, whatever it may be. So, um, but like we always say, you know, sometimes when you go and you know who the better team is, but that really doesn't matter if you don't play the best. I mean, that, that's what you have to go into think. You know, any team can beat you on any given day, but it's the team that plays the best that's the one that's going to win.